hello 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 boy i'm not quite settled yet this morning you know how that goes right you get here and you're like oh hey it's time to do the things hi how is it shaking i can't believe how many people are already up and adam and doing all of the conversation stuff this morning it's so much fun to see everything that is happening with you guys hello just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is Live at the Loom. We do this fun little party every Thursday, and boy, it is just, it just gets better and better. I, you guys make it so much fun and so enjoyable, so thank you for being here. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Carrie, our gatekeeper. She is uh, watching for all of the, uh, you know, she's keeping us safe. That's, uh, that's what she's doing. She's our girl. So thank you so much, Lori, for, um, Lori, for, did I say Lori? See, did I say the wrong name? Lori, Lori, the gatekeeper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see how it's going to be today? I'm going to try to pull it together. That's, that's the goal. I'm going to pull it together, folks, just for you, because I'm so happy to be here. Yes, let me say some hellos. My early birds here. Hello, Connie. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Vani. I look at Connie and Vani. That's, I like a good rhyme. That's a, hello, Gemma. Hello, Carol. Hello, Ernie. Ernie, where are you? Did you already tell us where you are? Where in the world is Ernie DeVries? I, um, yeah, I didn't catch that. Um, let's see. Who else? Carrie is here from Spain. Uh, let's see. Who else is on with us today? Mm. Oh, Donna Cunningham. You made it live. Woohoo! Yay! We love that. Welcome. Welcome. We're so glad people can make it live. You don't have to, of course, but I'm so glad when you can. Absolutely. Oh, let's see. Alex is here. Um, let's see. Oh, Ellen is here. Ellen, I can't wait to hear all about your trip. Ellen did a trip to, was it Sedona? Ellen, where you went for your trip? It's awesome. Scott is here. Uh, Maureen and Jody. Hello, hello. And Sherry is here. Sherry said we're having a dreary, rainy day here in Iowa. Uh, it's coming our way. I think, uh, I think Sherry is like, if you go like due west of me, that's where Sherry is. About, what, five hours, Sherry? That's probably right. We have sun for now, but uh, rumor is the weather is moving in. Uh, you know, it is April after all. Hello, Sam and Cindy. Uh, yeah, see, see, I know I had the wrong name. Isn't that funny? As soon as I said, I was like, no, I said the wrong name. Lori is the gatekeeper. Carrie is my friend in Spain. See, there we go. I'll get it straight. I'll, I'll get it straight. You know, I need to, you know, sit back and have some more tea. <laughs> Hello, Cindy from Prince Edward Island. See, look at me remembering all of the initials. Hello, Carolyn. There we go. She said, morning, I'll watch until we go walking before it gets too warm. That sounds like a fair compromise. I like that. We'll take it. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, hello, Sandra and Karen Crocker. And Jody Ward is here. The gang is all here. Hello, Kathy Stevens. 33 today. Kathy says it is chilly where she is. We're, we're colder. Yesterday was one of those days when the warmest point was at like 7 a.m. <laughs> it was one of those days. But you know, we have those. We have those all over the place. Uh, let's see. Oh, Ernie is at home in Flagstaff. The loom can't travel. All right. Fair enough, Ernie. We're thinking of you. Yeah. Um, Ellen went to Sedona. That seems to be the place to go. I um, just heard someone else just got back from Sudano, which is wonderful. I've never been. It has to go on my bucket list. Um, hello, Deb. Yes, finally made a live instead of the video. Woohoo! See, there we go. Full screen. That's where you can see the chat. I love that. Welcome, everyone. Hello, Kim from Atlanta. Oh, look at all the people. Dawn from Nova Scotia. That is awesome. Look at the crew who is all here. How the heck are you? How are things? What is happening? I feel like I have like little flyaways, something here. You know, sometimes when the hair just does weird stuff, you know, it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's a thing. It's a thing, right? How are you? How was your week? What is happening on your uh, side of the screen here? I have to tell you that last kind of Thursday, Friday, I kidnapped a friend of mine who is a an amazing, she's a wildly talented organizer, Lisa. And uh, Lisa came out and Lisa organized me. <gasps> People, talk about the best. The, uh, if you have a friend who likes to organize and you don't, just just bring them in. Here's what I've learned. First of all, let me take a swig. Here we go. Mm. Put it back. 
on my uh, official mug warmer sponsored by Alex Madison. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. You like the blouse? Thank you, Jennifer. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Ann Taylor's where I get almost all of my stuff. <laughs> so, okay. So here is what I've learned, folks, is that I... I, I, I am good at organizing some things. That's what I've learned. I am good at organizing some things, the things that really are front and center and I know it's gonna make my life easier, right? Yeah, see, Carrie says her middle name is organizer. See, Carrie, if you lived closer, I would totally bring you into the whole loop. So here's, but here's what I've learned. Um, hello, Maureen. Is that um, people who love to organize love to organize other people that's the, the at least that's been my experience so when i asked lisa kind of just as kind of feeling her out lisa by the way lisa's the one who helped me with the shelves um like a long time ago now she we did the whole ikea thing she came over we put stuff in which is awesome so uh so when i asked lisa i was like now lisa you know when i cleaned all of this up for um uh, last fall when i did all move things around everything i just got dumped in the utility room which is kind of over that way i'm like and i I'm very inefficient. I, you know, I need some help with this. Okay. You would have thought I told her I was going to give her a winning lottery ticket. She was just like, let's do it. She's like, at night when I get bored, I just pull out the picture of the before and I just plan. I, she's like, I have my label maker. I brought, like, she brought all this stuff with her. It was, she had the best time. It was, it was awesome. And of course, because I'm with her and I want to get it done and we're working through things together. You know, I, you know, I was right there with her the whole time, but boy, she had a lot more fun than I did. Let me just say, <laughs> it looks so nice now though. We got rid of some furniture and we condensed a whole bunch of stuff and we have a big pile to donate. It is all so much better. However, it was just, her reaction was priceless. She's like, you don't understand. I, I have been looking forward to this for like three weeks now. The fact that I'm going to come out and organize your stuff, which is just, so I have to remember that, that while I don't love the organizing and to spend, you know, 24 hours doing that kind of project seems cumbersome to me. She was salivating. She was just like, oh, I can't wait. So I have to, I have to remember that. So if there's any organizers in the group and they live near anyone who's not organized, keep that in mind. Your organizing friends would more than likely love to help you just uh yeah yeah see yeah ellen says organizing is a side job for me uh-huh yeah ellen yes let's uh yeah yeah carol too i love organizing i get the jitters when stuff is out of place give us permission to fix your mess and we're quite happy yeah see carol you and lisa the same exactly yes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> connie connie says anyone is welcome to come organize me <laughs> i like this maybe we can have some kind of uh, a pairing people that fall into which camp like the people that love to organize and not so much that would love to have the organizers we could do some kind of match kind of thing i like that connie that's a, that's a good idea carrie says when i go to friends houses or shops i have to learn to tie my hands behind my back <laughs> Yep, you just can't you just get you get itchy right yeah that's that's how lisa is that's uh that's for sure sherry says is your organizer travel she might if i brought her with you uh you let me know sherry if uh you need to uh, I, I talked to lisa she's uh she's in the chicago suburbs i'll bring her with we'll uh, we'll do some stuff bonnie says i like buying organizing stuff more than the actual organizing oh see okay now that's okay that's fun so because we did this whole organizing event then um, that led into a uh, girls weekend, which um, there's four of us that get together about four times a year. And, um, and of course, as I'm talking to the girls, I said, well, you know, we have to go to the container store. <laughs> and they're all like, oh, twist our arms. So yes, we went to the container store. Do you guys know the container store? Do you have this by you? It is literally a retail. It is a store that just has containers or organizing stuff for everything. I mean, every, things you didn't even know that you needed uh, a container for. It has it. And it is, yeah, it is, it is quite is quite the experience. So we go to the container store. I needed some, I have these like big long, they're technically like an under the bed box that I put all my neckties and recycled stuff in. And I need a couple more of those. And of course, Lisa walked out with a whole pile of <laughs> container store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Vonnie, that's, that's legit. Hello, Anne. <laughs> Joe says, me? Organize? <laughs> yeah. Kim says, I love to organize. It's the keeping organized. That's the problem. Kim, that is a legit 
thing. I told Lisa, I said, here's the thing, Lisa, we need to just make sure that like once a quarter, you just come out just to put me back into good shape because I know me. I, I will not keep it that neat, no matter how many labels you put up there. That is, that is, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sherry says, I can organize, but I can't seem to toss out or donate. That is tricky, right? That is, yes, that's, that's, I understand it's hard to let go. Yeah, yeah. Carol says, I got locked in an antique store for two hours by accident. <laughs> While the owner was gone, I did the whole kitchen area. <laughs> Are you sure it was by accident, Carol? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Right? Jody said she loves organized. Sometimes my husband laughs at me because I have to organize my sewing room before I can make a mess and make the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I understand that. You have to you have to put it all in place before you can pull it all out of place to do the project. Okay. I I, I get that. Hello, Tamison. You're here. Watching a promo on a new kind of e spinner. Ooh. Oh, you spinners. They always have cool equipment. That is for sure. Maureen says she's a very strong organizer, especially projects and travel. Maureen, I could absolutely see that about you. I could see that that uh, helps you kind of keep all of the parts moving smoothly. I can appreciate that. Definitely. Ernie says if someone organized my stuff, I would never find anything again. <laughs> it doesn't even work when I reorganize my own stuff. <laughs> there is something to that. I, I, I understand that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Maureen's all thumbs up for the container store. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is uh, Lori who chimed in to say she feels the same way. She's issuing organized friend stuff. She's like, just, just let me in there. Just, 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 yeah. Let me, let me do it. Uh -huh. Container store and IKEA. Yes, I know. Jody says I could use an organizer. This week we're moving all the yarn to the new Cotton Clouds bigger and better shop. Yay! We're very excited for Jody. But yes, I can see how that would be a huge undertaking. I don't I don't know how you gracefully do that, my friend. It's uh yeah. Um Kathy says it's the getting the stuff to the donation spot, right? Okay, so Kathy, here's what I learned. Here's my trick is that there is a um like it's a goodwill near where I get my hair cut. And to get my hair cut is a whole to do because it's I drive like an hour to get my hair cut. Yes, my name is Chris and I drive an hour to get my hair cut because I used to live in the suburbs and, and yeah, anyways, so I, so what I've learned now is that when I know I'm going to go get my hair cut, just throw it in the car. And then it's actually one of those where you like drive through and they come out to the car and they take it. It's like full service. I was like, oh, that's the way to do it. It seems crazy to drive like an hour to donate stuff, but if I'll remember, yeah, you know, everyone has their tricks, right? Hello. Hello. Uh, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, darling. Uh, she says, I'm not that organized. I get in a bit of mess, but would be too embarrassed to allow someone who enjoys to organize to help. You know what? That's kind of what I thought too, but Lisa, not to turn. <laughs> she was like, I don't care about this. Okay. Okay. Great. Sandra says, I need my student order or go crazy. If I can't find something, the kids and I do a big donation run two times a year. And that includes toys. That sounds very organized. Sandra, good for you. That's, that's amazing. Carol says, the only thing I can't keep organized is scissors. There's something otherworldly about scissors. They could travel <laughs> interdimensionally. And then you suddenly find 40 in one drawer. <laughs> it is. It's like bunnies, right? You look away and, and all of a sudden you have more of them or you can't find any of them. Uh, just talk to, if you ever get a chance to uh, chat with Rebecca over at uh, Three Moons, um, she, has, um, she has some great scissor stories because it's the same. It's the same kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Jemison. Hello. Oh, let's see. Um, <laughs> Carrie, Carrie says, my children are glad I live in a different country. <laughs> they can't stand my organizational level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Connie says, my sister came one time to organize it clean. We had garbage bags full of things that we don't not needed. Great. She had to take them home with her, dispose of, so Norm didn't see what I got rid of. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Karen, I love that you said it like this. To a pile person, don't move my piles or I'll never find anything. Okay, so Karen, I love this because I was going to mention back when I was in the corporate world, we I was part of the facilities because I have an interior design background. And um, and at the time, they were talking about um, like how people work. And they talked about, you know, in a corporate setting, you'll find that people fall into one of two camps, a pile or a filer. And I was, I was the... Uh, signature piler in our department. I was a department of like four, but 
But my friend Anita was the filer. Like her desk was always immaculate and she had like files. I mean, she had drawers and drawers and drawers. And I had like two drawers and one was empty. <laughs> it, was, it was all on the desk. Piler. That's that's me. Yeah, that's I. Yeah, yeah. Pile person. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, oh, there we go. Tartan is in the cloth. Taz, tartan, Taz. Nice. That does help. Thank you so much. Tartan Taz. I like that. They call you Taz for short. Actual name is Tanya. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. Do you know Carol? There's a, I was going to say you, um, you guys can talk tartans. That's amazing. Shirley says my daughter's been helping me get the clean <laughs> organized, right? Do the things for years. We were actually just now talking about the very thing as she dropped off the grand dog for a sleepover. Sweet. Yes. Excellent. See, Carol says she's married to a pile person who comes from a long ancestral line of pile people. <laughs> I can see how that'd make you twitch. I can see. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, for sure. And says so she has to stay fairly well organized because of having very little sight. Oh, that'd be a challenge. I would never find anything besides the fact I would trip over anything and everything. Yes, I could see how that would um, definitely influence uh, kind of your sense of organization if... Um, if having crap around, you just can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I hear you for sure. Yes. Okay. So, you know, we are at uh, week three of the April weave along. You know what that means? We're weaving. Uh huh. This is the week that we're doing the weaving and it's uh, so, 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 so good here. I'm going to put up some links for us just in case everyone needs a reminder. This is our little uh, Weave Along Central page. All the links live there. And, uh, and you know, we have a Facebook group too. But friends, your projects have been amazing. They have been so good. I mean, I'm always so, so, so impressed by the Weave Along projects, but you guys have gone above and beyond this time. It's really been extraordinary. And it's been so much fun to see people kind of figure out the pattern and get the colors in there. And it's been so much fun here. I'm going to put the Facebook. This is our little Facebook group there. If you do Facebook at all, come over and join us. Um, you have to answer two questions to, uh, to get in and then we'll welcome you with open arms, but let me know, um, how it's going just for kind of the community here. Are you enjoying it? What is your, um, what is your take on the ape weave along with some undulating twill? Jennifer says she's dressing a loom. Great. You know what? I, like I say, there's no weaving police. You go at the pace that, uh, where you are. Yes. Uh, Connie says she's on towel three. Woohoo. We love that. Go Connie. Go. That is awesome. Yeah. So I just wanted to make a point to say that everyone is doing really amazing and, um, you know, it's going to be over in the blink of an eye. It always goes so fast and I love it when we're in it. I'm sad to see it go. Yeah. Sad, sad to see it go. Jody says, organizing papers is my enemy. Oh, I found a reusable notebook planner, which is also can be scanned, organized. Oh, it's like one of those connections where you can write on the thing and then it puts it into a document. Rocket book. I like it. Kathy's loving the weave along has 12 inches done. That is awesome. Uh, let's see. Lori says, I have to cut the warp off and dress the loom. I changed my color plan. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. We're talking about um, Taz lives in Scotland. That's so exciting. That is awesome. Excellent. Okay. So, um, oh, oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Before I move off of um, uh, the Weave Along as our topic, I just want to give you a heads up that I am partnering with the fabulous Jody Ibarra, and we are going to be posting past projects. What is this? Oh, uh, see, I don't, do I need to go the other way? So we have some kind of, I don't, I swear I keep turning it off, folks. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that comes up. Uh, but I am working with uh, Jody, and, um, and we're going to be posting the uh, past Weave Alongs. Because as of right now, um, she and I have online um, the last three. So this April, last October, and then, you know, like everything from the past year. But there are three before that that we are working to get up. And get ready so that you can um, so that you can check those out if you if you want to uh, go back in time and do some of the previous weave along projects. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh, yes, 
Aw, see, Carrie says, I was telling a friend that I'm so behind. She thinks I'm crazy for policing myself. <laughs> Carrie, you're right where you're supposed to be, darling. Don't you worry. Jody says she's warped up and needing to move the loom to the new house. Will I be okay to fold my baby wolf and with warp on? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. I mean, don't get it, you know, snagged on anything. But you're, yeah, you're good, Jody. Carry on, my friend. Bonnie says, I'm weaving and second guessing my color, my warp color versus wet color choices, but I love undulating twill. Excellent. Excellent. No worries. Um, you just, you're allowed to change colors mid midstream. D just, you just go for it. Mm -hmm. All right. So tell me about your projects. I know we've talked a little bit about weave along, but if you're doing other stuff, um, just uh, lay it on me. How is it going? Let me grab my tea here while we talk. What, uh, what other projects are you considering or what's coming up after the weave along? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Here's what I've learned folks. You don't put your hand underneath the, if it's been on the mug warmer, it's hot. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> These are lessons I learned live on live at the loom. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. So Sam says she started number three. We didn't like the color combo unwove and replace the color happier. Now, you know what we've, okay. That's so funny that you said the whole, you un unweaved it, you unwove it. We've talked about this. We still haven't come up with a good word for undoing, unweaving. We need a good word for that. Cause you know, the, the knitters, is it the knitters or crocheters or both have the, you guys fill me in. Tell me what's the word is, is it tick? No. What's the word when you undo the things? <laughs> yeah. You see how it is. Okay. All right. Ellen is weaving three shawls at the moment. Oh, Ellen. Oh, she's so good. She's just like doing all the stuff. Uh-huh. Carol says that. It, the weave along is done in a drawer. Newest tartan warp is on the rails. Okay, now Carol, I know you're a tartan girl. Was this a good break to do the um, the weave along, or were you like, yeah, it got me out of the groove. That was hard. Let me know if that was, uh, yeah. Sandra is doing napkins with matching table runners. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Who is the? Is this for you, Sandra, or for um, another lucky recipient? Let us know. Uh, Connie says, just got the curtains for the second window rolled and I'm weaving. Okay. Connie, how many, how many panels do you need for this set of curtains? This is, this seems like a, quite the ongoing project, my friends. Oh, thank you. Yes. Ribbit. Yes. See ribbit or tink. What's the, wait, what's pig? What, what is, what is that? You guys have so many cool words. Those, those knitters and crocheters. Uh, Deb says she's waiting for a five, two yarn to be delivered for baby blankets. Ooh. Gonna learn shadow weave. Oh, nice. Um, yes, shadow weave is um it's fun. It is uh shadow weave, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, everyone who did the October weave along last fall, what was your impression of shadow weave? Some loved it, some were like, yeah, yeah, it's uh yeah. Karen says we tink back. Thank you. Uh Connie says unweaving, I call it Penelope. -ing. I think I vaguely remember this, Connie. Will you explain why you call it that? Let uh, unweaving. Yeah, let, remind us, please. Okay, frog for crochet. Okay, tink is knit back. Oh, Ernie, I should remember that. Yes. Okay. Let's see, we need a we need a, a word for uh, unweaving, a cooler word than just unweaving. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is from Lori. She's, she's dressing the Louette Erica, her brand new loom. Yay! I decided to put the waffle weave project from Sue Ann Sullivan. Oh, to weave three hand towels. Nice. Oh, that's lovely. Excellent. Oh, it's frog. Thank you. It's one of those critters. One of those creatures. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Tamsin says she started a second job at a living history museum. Wow. We'll be in the weaving house on Saturdays until October. Tamsin said that's so cool. That is so cool. Taz says, I confess I'm not joining in the weave along this time as I've been trying to get started on weaving my first double read project on my rigid heddle. Ooh, good for you. That sounds exciting. I love that. Uh, let's see. Connie's curtain. Second one is on only two panels. This is quite the project, Connie. I hope they appreciate the, uh, the final product and how much, how many hours you put into it. Right. Uh, let's see. Oh, Sandra. Oh, this is for a sale. This is your um, runner and matching um, napkins, right? That sounds, they'll, they'll, they'll go like the wind. That's awesome. Kathy's replacing the front steps in the house, not getting a lot of other things done. 
sometimes life gets in the way. Life uh, interrupts our weaving plans. Sometimes I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Carol says uh, the break to do undulating tools kind of nice, but the deadline for the next tartan is always looming. Yep. Oh, see, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Hi, Donna. Just finished the warp change for dressing the loom for the Theo Mormon technique. Ooh. Oh, Donna, please keep us posted. That sounds wonderful. I love that. Kim ordered all the art for the baby blankets. First grandchild is in September. Congratulations, Kim. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Bonnie, who, pardon me, is learning how to make bobbin lace. <gasps> Tablet weaving is always in my hands and heart. Crocheting a granny square blanket. Towels no, on the other loom, not much. That's awesome. Yeah, not much. Yeah, I'm just doing a, just, just a thing or two. That's, uh, that's awesome. Okay, here we go. Here's the story. Odysseus' wife was threatening. Oh, yes. Thank you threatening to marry a neighboring king while she was waiting for Odysseus to come home from the war. She said she, when she, she would do it, she would decide when she was done weaving. So she would unweave. And thank you. Thank you, Connie, for explaining. Yes, Penelope. Thank you. That's a good one. There you go. Yeah. She and her mates unwove at night, so she never finished. Yes, that's good. I like that. Hello, Lynette. I got an eight shaft a few months ago, but with two beautiful boys and a third on the way, no weaving has happened yet, but looking forward to the new challenges. We're excited. We're ready when you are, Lynette. There's no rush. No, no worries. Tess says she has a weaving dilemma. I want a floor limit. I have the money for one, but I also need to replace my bathroom suite. <laughs> okay, this is not the right crowd to ask that question. <laughs> That's, um, yes. You, you, you're not really surprised by what we're going to suggest, right? That you, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So just as a little FYI for anyone who's close to me, I don't know that anyone's actually within a reasonable driving distance, but just in case, just in case you want to come on over, I am doing a, um, a weaving demonstration at our local art center tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, um, our weavers guild has an exhibit up at the moment and they wanted some folks to do demos. So I'm like, I'll do it. So I'm going to take my little floor loom over there or my table loom. I mean, and, uh, and sit and weave for a while. I actually really love that. That's one of the things that I miss from doing art fairs and markets is actually just sitting there, just doing demo, just talking to people. It's fun. It's fun, right? I think we should weave. Let's, let's do this, right? Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> yes, yeah, I want to buy the loom Then you're the right crowd. Yes. We want you to buy the loom. <laughs> we want you to buy the loom, Taz. That's uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're thinking. Okay, let me move you out a little bit so you can see all the fun that is happening here. Okay, so uh, let me get you caught up. So um, I put on my loom a warp from Shiny Dimes, Amanda Baxter over at Shiny Dimes. Oh, I've got, wait, hold please. I've got a little, a little sample here so you can see it. Let me see. Okay, so uh, this was, she ran a sale, I think kind of around the holidays, because she was getting rid of a certain length. And um, you know I snatched one up just from her stash. Like, look at the colors. Look how pretty that is. Right? I think she called it maple leaves, something like that. I'll have to find the little, little thing. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous, right? Beautiful. So it's um it's an A2, A2 cotton. And um, what I thought I would do then is I would combine it with a solid color. I've got like a chocolatey kind of brown color to go with. And, uh, and then I just made up some stripes, basically. Now, here is what's fun, is that because there's so many great colors in there, I am just use the fabric as an opportunity to play with color. So what I've been doing out of the gates is I've been trying to match. I don't have a huge A2 stash, but I have uh, quite a bit, thanks to the lovely Jody Abaro at Cotton Clouds. And so I've been trying to kind of match as they go, at least to start with. So see, I've got a little red for our little red section, but I'm going to run out of some of these colors. So then we're going to start to mix and match some of the other colors to go with the beautiful hand painted warp. I am very, very excited. So, uh, and it's just been really, really fun. I made this very simple. Like I set up the warp with no real plan in mind for how I was going to weave it, how I was going to use it. None of that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll figure it out later. Yeah, yeah, I'll figure it out later. Um, as I was weaving it, I thought these would be really fun pillows, right? Would that be fun? Like a like the like one side of a pillow and then have something. I don't know. There's 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 lots of opportunities. It's not you know the eight two doesn't make a really kind of um, uh, dense or cushy fabric. It's a real it's a lighter kind of fabric. So um, so I don't know that I would do a handbag with it, but something else 
I mean, it could always be towels, of course, but I, I'm chewing on that. I'm not gonna worry about it until it's done. That's the plan, friends. I'm not gonna worry about it until it's done. So here we go. I am doing um, a little mix for the actual pattern. I'm doing some plain weave and I'm doing some twill, both. Cause you know, I it's my project. I can do both. So here we go. I'll show you what this looks like. So, by the way, oh, you know what I wanted to mention to you is that, uh, do you see my, uh, I don't know if you can see it from there. See, see this little, little nugget. I had a threading, big old threading error in, uh, as I was putting everything through the heddles. And what was so funny is that if you remember from last week, I had just started, it was like, like really, you know, at the first few inches and I'm throwing the shuttle and it wasn't until I turned the camera off. And I looked down, I was like, oh, I'll be darned right there. Big old threading error. Didn't, didn't even pay attention. I try to always check it before I start weaving, but I was in a rush because I had live at the loom and I wanted to show you guys. So yeah, threading error. It happens to all of us. It's, you know, vision isn't great. Light, whatever, not paying attention. Yeah. Threading error. It happens. It happens. So I have a nice, uh, pale pink, uh, replacement heddle on shaft number one. Thank you. Thank you. That's a, it's doing its job beautifully though. So here we go. All right. So what I decided I was going to kind of keep things in sets of four, at least for now. So I'm going to do four picks of plain weave and then four picks of a twill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Connie said I can make pillow covers with eight too. Yeah. That's what, I, that's kind of what I'm thinking, Connie. We'll see. We'll see how I feel when it comes off the loom. but yes, here we go. All right. So I think what's so fun, you know, I'm a color person, you know, this, What's so fun is to kind of, um, is to go through my stash and be like, okay, what kind of matches? Cause this, you can see like blue and like a gold. Uh, I think I ran out. There's like a goldy kind of color. Those are the three colors that I kind of picked that match, uh, the, um, the warp as it is, but it's very fun. So tell me this, have you worked with a hand painted warp before? Ellen, I know you've worked with a million of them. How about the, <laughs> how about, uh, tell me you guys, have you, uh, have you had a chance to play with uh, a warp that someone else died? Let me know how it's gone. <laughs> Lori says, blame the threading issues on the gnomes. Yes. I, I, yes. Sure. Yep. 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 No, they're, they're, they're responsible. <laughs> uh, uh, Ellen says I could also use a five, two cotton as the weft. Oh, that'd be nice. That would be, you know, change of portions a little bit. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Ellen loves hand painted warps. Uh-huh. There we go. Jennifer says we need gremlin bells on our looms for those threading errors. It's the gremlins. Yeah. Gremlins, gnomes. I like it. Okay. So here I'm getting ready to do my little twill. So I'm just going to do a two, two twill, which means that I always have two shafts up and two shafts down. And you just kind of go, um, you just kind of, uh, overlap basically. So I have one and two are up here. And this is two and three right there. This is three and four. And this is four and one. Now, um, I didn't bother to add floating salvages, but I knew that I was going to be alternating between plain weave and twill and plain weave doesn't need them. So I thought I'm just going to get into it and I'll see if I decide later that I want to actually change the pattern and do more twill. I probably add floating salvages there, but for now I was like, no, look at me being all carefree and you know, just to roll with it. Okay. So back to, back to plain weave. That's where we got. And I think what's fun is that this kind of project totally takes the pressure off, right? Totally takes the pressure off. Like there's no expectations. If it looks good, great. If not, you had a good time doing it. Sherry says she has several hand painted skeins and have been too scared to use them. Don't want to mess it up. I love what you've done. Oh, honey, get in there and mess it up. Just, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, Sam says, I know you aren't adjusting your edges. It's easier. Should I learn how? Okay. So Sam, I'm glad you mentioned that. I, I have been playing with that kind of idea of not catching it because for the most, my like go-to is to catch an edge and then just really place it carefully. Um, but I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see how I feel about that. And what I've learned here, Sam, here's kind of where I fall is that it depends on the project for this kind of thing. I'm just kind of cruising, going back and forth. I kind of like that. Um, I'm just trying to learn not to pull too tight. That's the whole, I know people really love the whole angled, uh, thing that you want the yarn to be at a certain angle. Um, let's just say it's a work in progress. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's what I might recommend. If you do it one way, try it the other. It's uh, if, you know, if your way, is it working or whatever it's yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that though, because yes, I am, I am kind of playing to see how I like that better. We'll see. There are times it doesn't give me enough control and I really like to control my edges as much as possible, but, but for this, yeah, we're carefree. We're, you know, we're uh, just rolling with it. That's the, that's the thing right here. So we're back to 12. Looks like I'm going to run out of the red. See? So this means the demonstration can't be that long. I'm about to run, about to run out of my, about to run out of, uh, run out of stuff. So, so, um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Lori chimed in says hit the like button to show some weaving wonder woman. <laughs> to show some love. Yes. Yes. That would be, that would be lovely. Here's okay. So, you know, um, Lori and I, uh, touch base pretty much weekly to talk about acting creative and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And um, Lori's decided that we're going to hit 10,000 subscribers this year on YouTube. That's what she's decided. And uh, so um, that's the plan. We're at six something now, right, Lori? We're at, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll go, go gadget. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and the truth is, is that that number sounds amazing, but um, I'd rather have uh, I, I like the idea of just having the cool people here. <laughs> All of you. I just like the cool people. I mean, we could absolutely expand. Of course, that would be awesome. However, you know, it's, uh, yes. I like having the folks that are really into it. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's, that's all I got. My, uh, my, my bobbin is, yeah. She says, Lori says she stands by her prediction. It's at 6,000, almost six and a half thousand now. That's um, okay. Let's think about that. That is incredible. 6,000 people. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm done with the red here. I'm going to lean you in. Everyone, uh, you know, hold on tight. No one gets these sick here. So you can see what it looks like. Can you see the little changes in between the, the plain weave and the twirl? It's just a little interesting. It almost looks like it has, has like a little Almost looks like braided or something. There's something kind of fun about that. Yeah. So what'll happen then is that you can see, I'll roll you over this way. See how the color's gonna change in the you can see it gets to like a it'll be like a goldy kind of color over there. Fun, right? And it'll go back to the blue. Let's see? It's a good time, right? That is just good entertainment for someone who likes to make fabric. That is just <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. So if you have um, hand-painted warps that you're saving for a rainy day, I'm, I'm going to say it's raining. Just uh, just go for it. Just, uh, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Oh, Carol says it looks like a Norwegian Scandi print. Oh, I don't exactly know what that is, but okay, I'll take it. I like that. Excellent. All right, friends. Vani says, how did you get your warp color changes so even? Um, I didn't dye the warp. Is that what you mean, Bonnie? Is that what you're asking? I didn't, I didn't dye it. I can't take any credits. That was all. Oh, here we go. That's all, uh, my friend Amanda over at Shiny Dimes. She did the, um, she did, what did she call it? Fall maple rainbows. So what it says? <laughs> Fall maple rainbows. That's what it says. There we go. Uh-huh. Oh, nice. Jennifer Fowler, who is, she's, uh, Jennifer is great at making clothing. She says that would make a pretty skirt. That would make a pretty skirt. I like that. <laughs> Alex, I'm glad I'm glad you think so, my friend. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Taz is like a warping elf, someone who will warp up my looms just so I can worry about weaving. You know what, Taz? If I lived closer, I'd warp a loom for you. Don't you worry. I don't mind warping a loom. Yeah. Connie says I'm tempted to try a hand-painted warp. It is fun. It is very, it's, you have to think about the project very differently because so many things are already decided for you, but it's a good time. It is a good time. Yes. Bonnie says all the warp threads change colors at the same time. Yeah. Like it's so even. Yeah. Oh yeah. Amanda's amazing at that. Yes, absolutely. Sherry says with your hand painted warp and your stripes, are they the same weight? You know what? In this case they are for now. Yes. I have a five, two warped with, but no five, two cotton to put with it. Any suggestions? Do you know what? Um, Sherry, that's a good, uh, yeah. See, Ellen had a thought. She says you can use an eight, two for the stripes. Would it be a nice texture? Here's what is kind of fun about a hand painted warp is that I think for me, you just want to kind of highlight the hand painted warp. So I could easily see I'm using a smaller, a smaller weft for that. That'd be really nice. 
Um, yeah, you could totally play with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Connie, Connie's all in favor of a warping elf. <laughs> all right, friends, let's finish strong, shall we? This week on A Handwoven Experience, I was talking about planning a weaving project with ease. I feel like sometimes planning a project can be kind of intimidating. So um, I wanted to give you just a couple tips for um, how to uh, how to make it easier, how to make our lives easier, because, you know, we are we are people and we do certain things the same way over and over again. So why not document that? Why not help yourself, right? You're going to work on the same loom. You're going to be the same person. Uh, keep track of those things and make life easier, right? Less decisions. That's a, that's a good thing. So that is a handwoven experience episode for this week. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, you can see it on the website, actingcreative.net and on YouTube. Uh huh. And uh, boy, the Action Creative Insiders tonight, tonight is the um, small group Zoom chat, which I always look forward to. It's so much fun. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Action Creative Insiders yet, it is a monthly membership. I'll put that right there. It's a monthly membership. Uh, the tiers, there's four different tiers. They start at $5 a month. And there's all kinds of little extras and fun things that you get there. And I will tell you that the um, income from the membership really does make a difference. Honestly, um, running a small business has a lot of moving parts and, uh, and there's a lot of things that, you know, there, there are things, there are things to keep it running. So I just, I'm always grateful for the folks that are part of the Act, Action Creative Insiders, the membership family that really does make a difference. And I appreciate every single one of you. All right, friends. Um, in other news, uh, you know, we have a Facebook group that goes with this, with the whole Acting Creative family, the whole the whole ding dang thing. This is, uh, this is us. The Acting Creative community is an ongoing Facebook group that, I'll be darned, is almost at six months. It's very, very exciting. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit I was a skeptic because I didn't think the world needed another Facebook group. Turns out we do. Turns out we, yeah, yeah, I was wrong. We do need another Facebook group for us. That's what we need because it is humming along. It is amazing it's um there's just so uh i think there's so many great things happening and people feel comfortable asking questions and answering questions and showing their projects and it's awesome so yay you for making it a huge success because that has nothing to do with me this is all this is all you my friends you're the best and lastly of course if you haven't yet signed up for the uh weekly the love notes the weekly weaving newsletter Every Thursday, I pull together a little story, some thoughts, whatever's on the brain, and I make sure you have a link to that week's uh, new episode of A Handwoven Experience because I want to make sure that you get to see that first before, before all the rest of the world. Look at us. This was awesome today. You guys were humming. You were just cooking with gas for sure. Hello, Elmi. <laughs> we got to see you for just a moment. Yes. Uh, let's see. Gemma asked with a hand painted warp, do you count your warp yarn first and then paint it? I, that is a question for a different expert, my friend. That is, uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Lori says she likes the, the bloopers. Yeah. They're always bloopers. Uh, almost always bloopers. Yes. The past couple weeks have been rough. There's a lot of bloopers for those for yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. The questions about the, uh, hand painted stuff. Do you know what? I'll see if I can get Amanda to to pop in sometime and we'll ask her these questions because she's the expert. She's so good. Uh, let's see. Yes. Wait, Carol, what is this? Now it's time for a snake hunt in the cold. Oh, oh, good luck. Good luck, friends. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next Thursday. Yes, next Thursday. We are right back here. Mark your calendars for um, same time, same place, or as I like to say, same bat time, same bat channel. And uh, we will do this all over again. I will probably still be working on our lovely hand painted project over here. What's well, uh, that'll be the plan. So um, this week, you know, you know what your uh, your homework is, right? Do something creative just for you, just for you, friends, not for partners, families, neighbors, kids, anybody else, just for you, just something that uh, feeds your soul. It's good for you. And mark your calendars. We'll meet right back here uh, next Thursday for more live at the loom. Have a good one, friends. Happy weaving. <laughs>